Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. And uh, we are doing the Venom Paracord Bracelet. Now the Venom um, is not only the theme of the bracelet in terms of the color scheme, but it's also the actual name of the pattern, uh, not titled by me. This is a pattern authored by Andro Shippis. Um, I will link their Instagram profile down below. Uh, but yeah, uh, they posted a great tutorial on their Instagram feed and I thought um, not only did the pattern look really organic and really cool, but doing it in this color scheme would kind of reflect the Venom theme. Um, we all, as we all have seen the upcoming trailer for the uh, Venom movie starring Tom Hardy. So that is pretty cool. And as always, huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials and the monthly giveaway, you can feel free to check out my Patreon page, link down below and in the video. And lastly, if you're looking for paracord and all the materials I use in this video, feel free to check out those links down below. That being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start this bracelet off, we got to set up our uh, four strand core. Now you can do this on buckles. I have a tutorial on how to do a standalone set of um, four strand core buckles. So a link of that is in the description and then in the video. So, but I'm doing this not in loop, so I'm not going to use that. So normally I wouldn't use black, but we're doing this Venom themed. So to make it easier, I'm just going to put this white piece of paper behind so you can see what I'm doing a lot easier. So I think that's better. So first thing we'll do is take both cords, double them over, get the midpoint, make a loop with one, and then you're going to do a cow's hitch. So put that on top of the other, bend it down, and then put the ends through like so. And there we go. That's the first step. Okay. And then now take this loop and bring it upwards like so. Bring it upwards and keep those cords down here. Now you're going to turn it around like so. And from here, you're going to take the strand on the right and you're going to put it through and underneath both loops like that. Okay. So that's one. Put that through. And then on the other side, bring the cord on the left, bring it in front, and again go through both of those loops. Like so. And that's how we're going to set up our loop for the knot and loop. Now, cinch this and firm this knot up and give yourself that half inch loop there you know or three quarter inch there we go so now with that set up okay these strands belong to this now this black one this separate one we're going to take these two strands and we're going to tie our diamond knot. Okay. So let's tie, do that real quick. Uh, let's tie it a little differently this time. Do it on the table. So make your loop and put it over. Like so bring that around. So with that set up, uh, you got your loop on the top. These are two of the other core strands. Now the second one, the loose one, we're going to tie a diamond knot and this will be the length of your bracelet, but don't worry, you can adjust this after. So let's tie our diamond knot real quick.
Okay, so I got my diamond knot tied. And before we fully tighten that knot, I'm gonna take a fid and put it on this cord here. This one goes to this one. You're going to put it through the middle of the diamond knot. Okay, because this is gonna form our four strand core. So put one through there. Like so. And then you're going to do the same with the other strand. This one is that one, right? And put it through the middle like so. Okay. And make sure everything's nice and even. See, now we have this nice four strand core we can work with. And once you have your length set, you can uh, tighten this diamond knot a little more and then we'll set it up on our jig. Okay, I now have my core set up on my jig, as you can see here. I just have a couple of uh, snake knots down there to hold that down. Let's get this guy in the center. All right, so I've got my, there's gonna be a one cord, uh, one working strand uh, bracelet, and I got, got this on my FID. I'm gonna put this through this knot right here. So let me open that up first. Push that through, okay. Get that through the middle. I'm going to pull a majority of my cord through. Okay, so you can just leave a bit of that out there. Now we don't need the fit anymore. Uh, we can start tying our bracelet. So from here, you're going to take your one working strand. You're going to go underneath the right side. Like so, you're going to bring it back around over the first two on the right, and then you're going to go underneath the strand here and come back out this way and make sure you're above that loop. Okay, so that is what you want to do. And then we're going to bring this up. Okay, and firm that knot up there. And then from here, you're going to bring it to the right side and you're going to go underneath these two. So through the gap in the middle, bring all your cord out through the middle like that. So now we're on this side, we're going to do the same thing, but just mirrored. So bring it back over and go through the middle and just bend it above here. See, through the middle above this. Bring all that through and then move this up. Right, and now we're back on this side. So again, we're gonna go underneath, through, and now we're on back where we started. Um, and that's the pattern. It's uh, quite simple. So again, bring it over to the middle and through there. And again, firm it up top. You wanna to make sure these knots are very tight. I didn't tie that top one tight enough. I'll go back and fix that. But firm these knots nice and tightly up. Okay, and then bring that back around through here. Let's just finish this last set off. But I think you guys get the point, right? Bring it over. Go under and through, like so. 
So the pattern on this one is actually very simple once you get it down. Definitely not too difficult to do, but um, as I mentioned, make sure you lock down these knots nice and tight. You don't want these to, to move too much. Okay, so that is it. Um, now we're going to just continue this, go all the way down your core. Okay, so I've come down to the end here and um, to finish off, I think it's probably better to take this off the jig and we're just gonna use a fid to finish the last few knots. There we have it, we are finished. So, got that bracelet done, got the end piece done. Now, I know you might be a little confused. You saw this red in the beginning and I was using white cord to tie this uh, little tab. Um, I did use white initially, but I figured red would be even better to add that, just that little accent for, uh, I guess it's Venom's tongue, um, which kind of adds to the overall theme. So there we have it, the Venom paracord bracelet done in a Venom theme. I hope it, it kind of communicates that to you guys as well. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, that is it for me today. I will see you on the next video. Bye.